All right, guys, this is going to be part one of three of uh, Road to Haslab Galactus. So we'll be opening this Herald of Galactus Thor, followed by the Herald of Galactus 2-pack, and then part three finale will be a Haslab Galactus with all three of the unlockable tiers. Okay, let's get into the packaging right now. I actually dig this. Uh, I don't dig GameStop crinkling it, but what are you going to do? Box art looks very nice, I think. There's the pricing. I got it for the platinum price, which I always recommend if you can get it anywhere. Get it at uh, GameStop if you got a platinum card. It is part of the controller Build-A-Figure series. There's also Iron Man, Thor, Blue Marvel, uh, Madame Hydra, uh, soy latte man, uh, oh, Quake and uh, U.S. agent. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, see what we're working with in here. I'm pretty excited about this one actually. As I said before, I'm not like a huge Marvel Legends guy, but I definitely like to dip my toe in. So crack it open, release it from its prison. All right. So we have some lightning effects. That's very cool. Translucent, pliable plastic. We have a very nicely molded crow, I have to say. I do dig that. comes with a kind of sparkly almost clear molded blue hammer which I think looks super cool another crow again molded nicely here's the controller build a figure head That looks pretty nice. I wouldn't mind if I got that quality of head there. All right. I don't know what the hell I want you to do here, to be honest. I guess that. All right, so we have him out of the package here, and I have to say, he looks pretty awesome. I'm loving the black boots, the color scheme. He looks good. He looks like he's ready to kick some ass here. All right, we're back after getting some pretty nice looking action shots, I think, for you guys. Let's take one more close up here as his magical crow tumbles to the ground and dies. Okay, so I really like the cape. If you could get it off, I think this would be great for doing customs with it. Obviously, I'm not going to uh, fiddle with it too much. This is cool. You know, you could have it on his hammer. There is a place here. For it to link around his wrist. Now, one problem I'm having, and it's maybe just because, you know, he's got these big, cool boots on, the big cape, you know. I think, I wish his, the hammer was a, a little bit bigger. Uh, like, 
I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It just seems like it could have been a little bit bigger. That's all. Okay. Yeah, for posability, the arms up, the twist, standard Marvel Legends articulation, pretty dang good. He can't do some things due to his cape, and just out of the box, he is not the easiest guy to stand up, actually, but that's okay. I'll try to get him in a good-looking pose here. There you go, he's bracing for impact there. So yeah, I don't know if that's just my copy, but getting like a hell of a time getting him to stand up. So size-wise comparisons, you can see him next to Arcade here. So you know, he is a lot more imposing than uh, a figure like Arcade. And we can get him next to the... Diamond Select Juggernaut, one of my favorite figures. I think it looks pretty good, actually, scale-wise. I mean, it's not perfect, but, you know, I'd be happy with that in my collection if that's what I gotta, gotta deal with there, and that's no problem. And we'll just get them next to one more larger figure from, you know... A more recent offering from Hasbro. There is Mojo right there. And I think they look pretty good together. All right, guys. So closing thoughts here. I really like the look of this figure. And I think that if you can find them for retail you should pick them up. The reason being, if you ever want to get, you know, the HasLab Galactus in the future, I have a feeling once this guy is out of kind of print, like, he might go up. Now, I've seen him on Marketplace, actually, a few guys giving pretty good deals, like, uh, below retail, which should be about, you know, you know, 35, it'll go up to probably 45, depending on if you have a Toys R Us near you. Um, but yeah, I think you should get it now. Um, I don't think you'll regret it. Again, I wish his hammer was a bit beefier, and I wish he could stand up on his own slightly better. But once he's in the display, I mean, he's going to look wonderful. So, okay, guys, I think that is it for today. Don't let anybody or anything ever stop you from collecting.